Basingstoke town was formed in 1896. It's based, surprisingly, in a town called Basingstoke, nicknamed the Dragons due to the symbol of the borough of Basingstoke and Dean, which shows the slaying of a mighty dragon. But dragon? Okay, good start. We'll go with it. By St Michael. The now former chairman, Rafi Razak, decided that he would make a lot more money if they just sold the Camrose Stadium, Basingstoke's home ground, for development and essentially make the club homeless. There was a covenant placed on the land in 1953 protecting the ground for a hundred years, which he ignored in an attempt to make money. So it was like the covenant was suggested that football must be played on this ground for a hundred years, and which there's been lots of court battles and stuff. It's been ugly. Bizarre stories started coming from the club including at one point parts of the stadium and the facilities being listed on eBay. Not even joke. It, utterly ridiculous. They then ripped up the pitch to prevent the football team from playing on their home ground, sort of strengthen their position. I think they wanted to build, he wanted to put like a home, a care home on it or something like that. It's ridiculous. A battle with the club, council and former owners is now ongoing to rescue the Camp Row Stadium. Basingstoke have temporarily moved to the city ground in Winchester, whilst another small pitch owned by the Hampshire FA at Winklebury, just sort of on the edge of Basingstoke, is being brought up to the FA standards and when done will become the new temporary ground while the ongoing fight continues. The club's existence is somewhat of a miracle, the only income being sales of match day tickets and support from loyal fans. Basingstoke currently sit in the 8th tier of English football pyramid, the Southern League Division 1. I've personally spoken to all the man to the manager, um, the whole board of directors, all the higher ups at the club. We've had lots of Zoom calls and everything, and because I wanted to be, make sure that this club was headed in the right direction and it was being run by the correct people. Um, and then, obviously, the first mission is to get this club to survive. Hopefully, with all the ongoing stuff, I'll put some articles in in the description so you can, if you want to read more details about it because some of it's crazy. Um, that they will get the club to survive and then hopefully thrive because Basingstoke is a really big town. It's a sort of commuter town to London. It's growing exponentially. It's ripe for having a big football club. So this is where we come in. Alongside this save that we're doing on Football Manager, we should be running a Just Giving page to raise money for the club. Every single penny will be going directly to the club. We want to raise as much as we can, much like we did for Fort William a few years ago. This money will make a real and massive difference to the club and its fantastic supporters. If everyone watching this video or this series gave just one pound, we would give the club the stability it needs. But obviously, I preface everything like this that I do, but only give money that you can afford. Um, you know, don't go out of your way. I know, obviously, with COVID and 2020 being the terrible year it was, I know, I know a lot of people are pretty skint. But, like, if you can just give one pound or more, that would be amazing. You can also help the club by heading over to its website and buying some of its merch or a shirt. The shop on the website is pretty pretty new and the items are getting added often. That was one of the things that came up in my discussions with the club because I know you guys and how you support teams is that I just wanted to make sure that a few of you are going to want to go out and buy a shirt or buy a mug or whatever it is. So there's only a few things on the store at the moment, but that's an extra way that you can really help the club. Um, I think... And you can follow the club on Twitter and everything. All the links, all any useful links that I can find, I'll put in the in the description. As far as the football manager goes, it's just going to be a fun save. What I want to, what well, sort of one club save, obviously. What I want to do is, because what I tended to do before was I would um, have like lots of skits early on in a series, and then it would just kind of taper off because you know it's hard to think of a skit every single day. So I'm going to sort of scatter them more randomly where we do some fun stuff as well. Uh, maybe get some of the club involved and. Big thing, obviously, is keeping up to date with the with the donations and everything like that. The Just Giving page will be in the link below. Like I said, every single penny we raise from this will go to the club. Um, I'll have a talk with the directors and see exactly where that money is going to go and everything like that. Like the, the, there's talk of them starting a women's team and all this sort of thing. So it's going to be massively helpful to a club that's been through a lot with some bad owners and I'm sure many of you guys that sport especially lower league football or even bigger clubs and had some terrible owners um you know shout out to the Newcastle fans uh how bad that is and now the club is being run by a good group of people that aren't there for the money they want to run the club properly and soundly and give it a good foundation and hopefully in time get back to the Camrose Stadium and 
become a good club like like i said it's a big growing town and i think it has a good catchment area it has the possibility of being being a big club and hopefully like many of you like with fort william that it will become like a second team to many of us you know i'm really ex- i've been really excited for this for ages um so yeah i'm very excited we will start monday with a little first look at the team and everything like that it's gonna be a lot of fun i will see you on monday Good to be back. Bye-bye.